can Amber Heard call Johnny Depp to testify in her case in chief? We'll talk about that in this video and more. Hi there, my name is Catherine. I'm a lawyer and I also think differently. Can Amber Heard even call Johnny Depp on the stand? Is that allowed? Quick answer is yes, it's allowed by law and by the rules of evidence. In fact, Amber Heard actually listed Johnny Depp as a witness in her witness list. Before we move on, don't forget to hit subscribe below. It'll help me make more videos like this for you. You're probably wondering, this is not unusual for parties to list each other on their witness list. However, it's interesting to note that in Johnny Depp's witness list, Amber Heard is not listed on it at all. But again, Amber Heard listed Johnny Depp right there on the witness list. Even though it's not unusual to put your opposing party on your witness list, because I've done that myself, I would put the opposing party on my client's witness list for trial, what's not common is actually calling that opposing party as a witness to your case. That's generally called calling the adverse witness in your case in chief. Adverse witness meaning you're now asking your opponent to testify for your claim. In Virginia, where this case is being held, the law allows them to do that. In fact, even in other states, that's allowed. I'm licensed in California and Texas, and that's allowed too in my jurisdictions. Also, even in federal court, that's allowed as well. To call the opposing party as an adverse witness for your case in chief and case in chief means it's your time to present the evidence to the jury you're probably wondering why would someone do that one of the major reasons why a party might call their opposing party as a witness for their case is because the opposing party or the adverse witness has testimony that will support their claim in this case amber heard is trying to bring in johnny depp in her case because because she believes that Johnny Depp can testify on some of the elements of her countersuit against Johnny Depp. Remember, even though Johnny Depp sued Amber Heard for defamation, Amber Heard also filed a countersuit against Johnny Depp. So that's why Amber Heard wants Johnny Depp to testify on her case because she believes that Johnny Depp can prove certain elements of her defamation case against him. Amber Heard is alleging in her countersuit against Johnny Depp that not only did Johnny Depp made false statements against her, also that Johnny Depp's former lawyer, Adam Waldman, made false defamatory statements about her as well. Specifically, that her claim about sexual abuse and domestic violence were hoax. I anticipate that the majority of the cross-examination of Johnny Depp will be centered around that particular issue. When Amber Heard's team calls Johnny Depp on the stand, they have some restrictions. First, they can only ask him new questions about new information regarding their counterclaim. They can't just ask him repetitive questions or questions that they forgot to ask him when they were cross-examining him when he was on the stand for his case. You don't just get a second bite of the apple, meaning Johnny Depp as the apple, because it would be blatantly unfair to just bring him in and just ask him questions that are repetitive. So that's one of their restrictions. Another restriction for Amber Heard's legal team is they have to question him by cross-examination. That means they can use leading questions, yes or no question. I mentioned earlier that it's not common for lawyers to bring in adverse witness as a witness for their case. That's because it's very risky to do that. Let's talk about the disadvantages of bringing in Johnny Depp for Amber Heard's case. Of course, the disadvantages of bringing in Johnny Depp for Amber Heard's case becomes an advantage for Johnny Depp. So let's talk about that. First, the jury will be confused as to why Johnny Depp is on the stand when it's Amber Heard's turn to present her case. The jury will see something different from what they usually see on TV because we're not used to seeing that. So the jury might think that this is so weird and they might sympathize on on Johnny Depp because they might think he's being treated unfairly, especially since Amber Heard's legal team have to question him using cross-examination technique, which are leading questions and tend to sound hostile. So they might sympathize to Johnny Depp and feel bad for him. Second reason why it's risky for Amber Heard's team to call Johnny Depp on the stand 
mind is because of the time limit of each party to present their case. Before the trial went on a one-week break, Judge Ascarati told each party how much more time they have left. For Amber Heard, she only has 24 hours and 44 minutes left. For Johnny Depp, he has 26 hours and 9 minutes left. That means Amber Heard has to use some of the time left that she has, which is again 24 hours and 44 minutes, for Johnny Depp's testimony in her case in chief. And we saw how Johnny Depp testified on the stand. He was slow, very methodical, he thinks through, and that's just how he talked. We saw that in both his direct examination and cross-examination. So the jury will expect the same rhythm when he testifies on the stand. And that's a risk for Amber Heard's legal team that the time is ticking when he's testifying. A third reason why it would be risky to bring back Johnny Depp on the stand is because Johnny Depp was very likable when he was on the stand for his case in chief, both during the direct examination and the cross examination. So when you bring him back, that might be a repeat of what's going to happen when he is again being cross examined by Amber Heard's legal team. Does Amber Heard have an alternative instead of using Johnny Depp on the stand to testify to prove the elements of her defamation case against him? Yes, she does. Some of the options include using Johnny Depp's deposition to prove the elements of her case. Also, she can use other witnesses to corroborate. She can use documents to prove the elements of her case. So she has other options as well, but in this situation, for now, it appears that her legal team believes that having Johnny Depp on the stand is the best option for them in proving Amber Heard's counterclaim against Johnny Depp. Now you know the pros and cons of bringing in Johnny Depp as an adverse witness for Amber Heard's case. If you learned something new in this video, please go ahead and click subscribe. If you're new to my channel or you've seen my other videos, you know that my son created this for me in support of my YouTube videos. Isn't it sweet? So please go ahead and click subscribe. That's the red button down there. And if you have any other questions that you'd like me to answer, please go ahead and type them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them for you or create a video if that's necessary. Bye! Thanks for watching!